Hello everyone, we have another box to unbox today and I'm kind of excited. Packaging is quite nice. Inside cleaning kit, okay. A sand disc. Mm -hmm. Wow, three hundred MBS thirty two gig. Okay, and let's see the screen protector. Right. Probably a extra battery. Okay, that's good. That's good. This is a I assume just the uh, basic tripod. Although we will not be using it that much, but since this is a freebie, or one of the freebies, of course, it is welcome, right? Can't complain. Oh, so there's a uh, cell phone mount. Okay. Good enough. So I won't recommend this using uh, on your camera, but you know, since uh, as I mentioned earlier, since this is uh, one of the freebies. Why not, right? I will use it on my cell phone. Okay. And a mini bag. Oh, looks good. It's cute. if a camera with um, lens will fit here I mean uh, if you have a medium lens I'm not sure if it will fit here but if you have a pancake lens yeah for sure uh, this is good enough but let's see this is cute <laughs> <laughs> so if ever I will be using this one when I go biking and with my camera right and for our main dish okay, let's put it here been a long time since I see a, a Fuji black box, you know. <laughs> so excited. I was surprised with the seller. Uh, the package is well. I mean, 
the packaging is good. Oh boy. This is it. Whew. <laughs> so excited. So inside the box, um, a manual. It's a Fuji thing to include a very thick manual. So if you are a first time camera user, then this will be helpful. Okay, so I assume, okay, what's inside it? This is uh, okay. Maybe a warranty or service shops around the world. Free editing software, really? Hmm. Really? Is it free, or I, or I need to pay for it? Uh, I've heard Capture One is better than Lightroom. Well, at least if you have a Fuji camera. So, there. Put it here first. Let's see if really there's a free software. Okay, manual. So, this white box, I assume this is the lens. Yeah, so I bought the kit, I mean um, the X-T3 with the kit lens and for those who don't have idea, uh, Fuji kit lens is one of the best if not the best kit lens around. So. This is it. This is uh, very good. Very, 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 very <laughs> good lens. And maybe I'll not put it, since I will use it anyway. I will not put it back. So the lens comes with a lens hood. inside the box is there something else here oh. nothing there's a box okay I was intrigued of the free Capture One software if it's really free or just a trial. I'm not sure how can you get that. Anyway, so we will uh, save the best for last. And this one, what is this? I assume charger. Oh yeah. Uh, Fuji camera strap. Mm, although for the uh, last cameras I have, I'm not using it anymore. But you know. Oh, nice. Uh, this is uh, better straps than the basic they are including with their XT30s or lower end series. This is good. It's a uh, fine leather. Okay. But I will not be using it. Put 
here. So this is the adapter. It's good thing they included this one. So you know. And this is the flash. For the XT3 series, uh, they are not including the flash or no built-in flash. So this one is very handy. EFX8, yeah. Powerful enough for um, basic photography. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting it uh, I'm not mounting it in the camera itself but I'm just putting it in the camera bag so just in case I will be needing it so you know so the battery it's still using the old one so I have the XT1 before and the XT10s still using the same battery yeah it's the NPW126S put it there the charger hmm. I thought I was missing the cable but um, I guess I need to use so what I noticed with Fuji uh, they have a different kit for every country so right now I'm in Malaysia so this is a Fujifilm Malaysia so they have a separate or different uh, set of uh, chargers although I still have one how do I put it there okay Although I prefer the wire or the cable version because this one you have to mount on the outlet itself with the cable you know it's for me uh, it's kind of more um, comfortable than this uh, this one but anyway at least they included I think the XT4 they did not include the they are not including it anymore in the XS10 so I'm not sure but yeah so anything I need okay so this is now the main dish so one of the indication that your Fuji film is brand new is the sealed this is it Oh boy. Hello there, my friend. <laughs> yeah. This is the Fuji XT3. Oh boy, Fuji. How are you doing, my old friend? It's been a while. <laughs> so happy. Yeah. So, what's new? Okay. Articulating screen. Oh no, what's the term? Not articulating, but... Okay. Okay. So I'm not sure what's this one, but I think I'll just remove it. I will not be using this one. Okay, that's the X-T3. So for those who don't have Fuji uh, before, um, this is where your shutter speed dial and the ISO on the left. And this is the compensation. It's pretty much the same with the XT1 series. I used the XT2 before, uh, not mine. I just borrow it, but it's pretty much the same. 
Oh boy. So it comes with um, a piece. You know, uh, it's been years since I have a camera. So, oh my, I'm so happy right now. If you could see my face. <laughs> What's new is the joystick compared to my, I mean, this is not a new feature, but my last Fuji camera is X-T1, uh, doesn't have the code joystick, but this one, okay, all right, it's good, it's a very handsome camera, so, I was uh, torn between the XS10, which has a uh, in-body stabil stabilization, and this one. And uh, I prefer the XT3 because of the f video features. I will be using it on my vlog. Um, yeah, although they say that the XS10 is more video-centric uh, camera, but what it lacks is the features that I'm looking for. Uh, this has a 4K 60p camera and for the price, uh, I think this is the only camera that has the 60p 4K non-crop um, of all the cameras you can buy today. Where, uh, well, at least for this price point. So that's my number one uh, consideration. It doesn't have um, in-body stabilization, but since I'll be using the 1855 with OIS, so I will not be needing the uh, in-body uh, image stabilization that much. And of course, uh, for a more professional video or cinematic video, nothing beats a gimbal. So, I don't rely much on the IBs. It's not like the GoPro's uh, IBs, wherein uh, it's very stable. So, right now, any mirrorless camera that has IBs mm, doesn't match the GoPro's uh, stabilization. So, for me, that is not a, a deciding factor. So, what else? Um, weather sealed. So I will be using it in mountain biking or when I go biking, I'm planning to bring camera. So I have a project where I will be biking and shoot or bike and shoot. So that's a different blog. That's why I purchased this. Well, of course, you still have to use the weather sealed uh, lenses, which I'm planning to buy in the future. Another reason why I prefer this over the XS10 is, uh, well, the retro feel, uh, you know, or the ret retro look. Look at that. So handsome. Yeah. And this one, you know, I can use it now uh, without looking at the manual. There you go, guys. Uh, just a quick unboxing of the XT3. I'm just sharing you how happy I am to have a uh, uh, camera once again in my hand. <laughs> oh boy, uh, I'm so happy today. So, anyway, I'll be using this in my future blog from now on. Um, I will retire this GoPro. <laughs> Thank you, GoPro, for the service of a few unboxing. Uh, but, yeah, so good, guys. I'm so good. I feel blessed today. So, thank you, and thank you for watching.
and see you around. Bye.